Well, we just had our pool motor replaced. Not the filter itself, but the motor because it went out. We haven't had the pool working for about a week. That's the good news. Bad news is the pool water is ridiculous. Oh, you know, I thought having ducks in the pool was cool. We haven't drained this in a couple years. So we're just gonna get a submersible pump and hook it up, drop it down inside, and then run the drain out to the plumbing cleanouts and get rid of all this water. We see all this debris, it's just telling me that this isn't rotating the way it should, because it should do 360. Well, we rented this for 50 bucks at Home Depot. Submersible pump, two inch hose, 150 feet. Hopefully I can get to my plumbing cleanouts with this, we'll see. All right, so I got everything set up. I got the pump. Uh, it comes with a nice long rope so we can lower it into the bottom of the pool. You don't want to drop it in there. That thing is really heavy on the bottom. And I've got about 20, 30 feet extra hose. Um, I'm probably just going to throw that in the pool and kind of let it um, settle in the pool so it doesn't get hung up on any rocks out here. But we've got a nice long run to the front of the home to the clean house. And with the cleanouts, it's important that you put it in the back one if you've got two cleanouts because these crisscross. So you want this to be shooting back out towards the street, not into this one because this one would go back under your house. So um, we're gonna see what happens with this right here. I've never used a plumbing cleanout, but I don't feel like getting a ticket from an HOA this year. So this is just your standard two inch hose um, that they give you at Home Depot and it fits down the cleanout. So I'm gonna shove it down there as far as I can because I don't want this thing to pop out. I just want that water to go down. I just don't want it to kink right here. So I'm going to turn it on for a few seconds and see what happens. So these connectors are pretty easy to hook up. Pull back this handle and secure it off both sides. And then use the rope to slowly drop it. Try not to hit the walls or the side of the pool because that thing is heavy. There we go. Now as this starts emptying, I'll probably move it over a bit closer towards the middle of the pool. Get all these kinks out of the hose so you don't have problems when it gets pressurized. straighter the shot it was, the easier it was on the hose, so I kind of straightened it out and put some of the excess in the front. Put a little weight on the rope to keep it vertical, kept wanting to flip over, so I kind of weighted it down. And it reminded me of one thing, I heard this noise coming from over here. Um, turn off your autofill. It's not going to do you any favors if you're draining the pool. I'm just going to come over here turn one of those valves that goes and feeds that autofill. Well, we got it drained. Got it down to about three inches of water. And I need to get to that drain cover because I know I need some repairs. That screw does not go into that hole anymore. The hole is like blown out. So what I'm gonna do is get the shop back in, get that guy, suck that up, get it out of here and take a look at that drain cover. All right, so I think we're good. Got this screw, that screw. We've got new taps in there, so those those are holding it down pretty good. This cover is on solid. Don't have a screw over there. This screw is in decent. Um, it's not as tight as it could be, but it'll work. Let's drain this thing one more time and fill it. So when you take out your jets, you want to check the gasket, make sure that the gasket is on there, it's not falling off. 
A lot of the times to be cracked and split, but you just want to make sure that it's pushed down around the edges. And make sure you keep track of which jet goes where. Because each one of these jets is a little bit different. They, they have different openings on them. See the size of that jet right there? That's first step. Let's look at the jet for the bottom of the pool. It's going to be much bigger. That's because it uses a lot more water on the bottom of the pool than it needs on the steps. The steps don't need as high a pressure. I'll probably do a little bit more cleaning. Try and get some of this calcium knocked down the best I can. This stuff is crazy. There's a couple spots where you can put some caulking, fill in those gaps. Most of it's not pretty, but it is done. And check our wear door. And don't run your light too much if you're working on your pool without water in it. It needs the water to keep it cool. You'll overheat it. Well, it's 11 o'clock. Looks like we've got a full pool, and it looks good. Nice and blue color, and green. plastic bottle and go take it to Leslie's, have them test it. So here's the water test results. Look like we're a little bit low in a few areas, so they're recommending that we add half a gallon of muriatic acid, also a pound of shock, which is going to be about weekly, eight pounds of Leslie's Hardness Plus, and then also a half a gallon of pool water conditioner. Now, recommended, it says wait two hours on this one, but all the rest of them say wait four hours, wait four hours. So in between each one of these, you're gonna to wanna to wait four hours. Doesn't that look better? That looks so much better. Those are some of the basic steps that I took to refresh my swimming pool this year. You can follow the same steps as long as your swimming pool is exactly like mine. Everybody's swimming pool is a little bit different, but those are the basic steps that you're going to have to take. You're going to have to rent a pump. You're going to have to pump it somewhere. If you don't want to get an HOA ticket, you need to put the water somewhere where you know they're not going to find you. I had that problem for a couple years. I didn't know where to put the water. I kept trying to put my 3-inch hose or my 2-inch hose for my backwash down into the plumbing cleanup and it wouldn't work, it would just blow back. So I would just drain it into the street. Well, if you rent these hoses from Home Depot, they fit right down in there and they're heavy enough with the big metal end on them that it holds that line in the clean out. So you don't have any issues with that. But there's a few things on the water quality report that we had to add. That was probably $150, $170 worth of pool chemicals that we needed to add that's directly to tap water in Gilbert, Arizona, so you can expect to do about the same. This is a 13,000 gallon pool. Most swimming pools I see are probably around that 10,000 gallon. So enjoy your swimming pool, have fun in it, be safe, put up protective barriers if you need them, get your floaties, have a safe swimming pool season, and we'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching.